Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ridge Life, we are going to take care of an erosion control problem. We've got this giant um, washout here uh, from the sinkhole that we filled in a while back. You might remember a giant sinkhole, used our New Holland tractor, Kubota side-by-side, -side, load after load, filling it up. Well, it, it, it filled in the sinkhole, but we have an area that's washing out. we got to get some grass seed in there. We've got to get some natural fertilizer grown right here on the ridge. We'll show you that in a second. Get some straw in there before these fall temps start coming in it's about 90 today which is great but whenever it starts getting cold at night that grass seed won't take and we need to get this done other areas around the ridge here need to be a uh, uh, get some grass seed sown as well uh, taking care of erosion control is is a must on any homestead so we're going to do that today and hope you enjoy the show For fertilizer for our grass seed, we're going to use rabbit poo. We have got a couple yards of rabbit poo here built up. We're going to load up in the Kubota, dump it over our grass seed after we get it sown, mix it around in the mix, and this rabbit poo will make that grass seed grow green, 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 green. You're like, Tim, you can't put fertilizer right on your grass seed. Guys, you can do that with rabbit poo. Rabbit poo is what's called a cold compost. It does not need to uh, get mixed in with mulch and other vegetation to uh, hot compost to decompose to be a uh, usable nitrogen rich fertilizer. Rabbits have done that for us. They make it into a cold compost. That stuff is ready to go right on your garden, on your grass seed or whatever you want to grow. That stuff will do it. We're going to put that on our grass seed and you'll watch it grow. The materials we're going to use today to take care of our lawn issue, uh, I've got straw, compressed straw bales. That's going to go on top once we get the fertilizer and the grass seeds sown into the soil. Straw will keep it from eroding away, keep the birds from getting down to it. Uh, all that rain won't wash all of our work away. We're going to use Bermuda grass by Scott's, and that's going to be for the uh, open areas with lots of sun towards the, the farmhouse, the areas we want to be aesthetically pleasing. I've got some rapid grow sunny lawn. That'd be for the open areas out here in the field. Uh, I've got some sun to shade. That'd be more for these areas under the trees that don't get quite as much sun. And then I've got some landscaper mix. This uh, is great for filling in those holes quickly. I mix uh, different uh, portions of these together. Work great all throughout here. I'm gonna use this big wrap, uh, yard tough uh, spreader and this is a bag spreader and you just spin it and it pushes all the grass seed all around very very easily you can get these for yourself and then I'm gonna need this rake this rake's got to loosen up the soil so the grass seed can take it will not take on hard soil so let's get all this together
All right, I got probably, what, half a yard in the back of the Kubota here. Got, you know, it's still real thick under there. And of course, there's a bunch in the back, more than I need for, uh, for our grass today. So I've got most of the areas uh, raked, loosened up the soil. Now we're going to seed our grass seed. And once we get that seeded, we'll put the uh, fertilizer, our rabbit poo, distribute that across, get and rake that in real good and get that straw on there. So let's get to the next step. For the sunny open areas here, I'm gonna use my Bermuda, some uh, Landscaper Fast Grow Fill, and then the Sunny Lawn Mixture. So I'm just gonna be mixing up a little bit of each and each one of, uh, from each one of these bags. I'll get it all mixed up inside this bag. Get them up, get about equal parts of each. And then we'll uh, start to spread this out over the lawn. And then we'll have a beautiful lawn here, hopefully before the fall cold weather comes. Now we've got a lot of rain coming um, here this week, so the rain should really help embed and, uh, and activate all the fertilizer and the grass seed, and uh, we should see some grass growing very, very quickly. Got my uh, seed spreader here, got it set on a low setting. I open it up and just start to broadcast this out over the area. And I will get a good even distribution all in the sunny areas. That's what I'm gonna do with this mix. Let's go all over the sunny areas. This gets sun almost from morning to late afternoon. And we will get a lot of this seed out here. I'm gonna overlap where there is grass, kind of overseed. We've got a lot of areas around here that I can get this done on. Again, I'm just gonna, gonna pattern all the way around, overseeding on the overlap. Doesn't take long to get this. Pay particular attention to this big open area right here. Make sure I get definitely enough grass seed in here. Birds are going to take a lot of this, but that's why I'm going to get that um, straw down. Straw also helps keep the birds from eating all this seed. We got our sunny mix down and we went ahead and did our shade mix under those trees. Now it's time to uh, spread out our rabbit poo. Again, I, I don't have to get it too um, smooth out here. I'm gonna use do my rake for that. And when I rake it, what it's gonna do, it's gonna rake in the grass seed with the poo. So perfect combination. I should have more than enough here for all of our seeding locations because this is again about a half a yard should be no problem getting it all distributed man this rabbit poo is and a lot of it was had already broken down towards the bottom so man it is it is perfect fertilizer here and i can't wait to see this grass growing on the side of the ridge you know we did a pretty good job of of getting it all distributed before you know we had the new holland and the side by side getting all the dirt and we did grass seed and we did straw 
um, but erosion got to it right here in this one spot so uh, I think we're gonna be okay this time so let's go ahead and get the rest of this distributed and then start on the straw Final step here is to get our straw uh, moderately placed over all of our grass seed and fertilizer. Uh, Got to get it to where uh, hard rain's not going to wash it out, and the birds don't, you know, get down deep into it and get those seeds. They're going to get some. They're going to scratch around, but I don't want them seeing it all and getting it. So let's go ahead and get all the get all this moderately covered. Again, this this is compact, compacted straw, so it is pretty thick stuff. You can see how it's a big old flakes of it here, and the flakes uh, break out into uh, dispersed pieces. I got to cover up all of this fertilizer, get big chunks of it up. But I've got enough here. I got two compressed bales, which should be more than enough for these little areas I've got here. Again, I'll separate the big chunks that fall. Whew, hope you're not allergic to hay. If you're allergic to hay, you're gonna. Whew, hate this job that's for sure all right almost get a little bit more in this area again i'll come back and uh distribute it the big flakes off of it got our grass seed here i can see where the fertilizer is and the big open areas there we are all right you don't want to see all this in real time let's go ahead and speed this up and finish this job This uh, st <laughs> stuff will get you. I've got a bunch more straw to put out. This is turning out great. I appreciate y'all joining us today, watching us take care of some erosion control, using our rabbit poo for a good purpose. Um, we want to get this looking beautiful because this is the view we have when we look out our living room window from the Ridge Farmhouse right behind you. So we see the barn and this beautiful ridge and this is where we want horses as well. So we'll have horses sitting on the standing, galloping, trotting, whatever, on the side of this ridge up by the barn. Of course, we have our rabbits behind it. We've got chickens. Uh, we look at it, uh, getting some hair sheep and maybe even some Scottish Highland cattle. Wouldn't that be awesome? So I'm going to continue on and then I'm going to get inside and take a shower and get rid of all this off me. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Ridge Life. Hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. And as always, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.